two hundred social services. This year, Bath is celebrating in particular the art and culture of Spain and its cultural links with the rest of Europe. The first street, if you want to know more, here's the number, Bath 463362, or you can ring Bath 466411. Well, things start on Friday with fireworks in Royal Victoria Park, and we'll be bringing you pictures from there in its nearly Saturday, round about 10.40 next Friday night. Tied in with the festival is the 10th Bath Contemporary Art Fair, which also opens on Friday at Green Park Station. And running alongside it is the Bath Fringe Festival. Let's give you the number for that one. That's Bath 448243. Lots of numbers to write down tonight. A major outdoor presentation for the whole of the first week of the Fringe is Circus Burlesque, a Bristol-based group who've set up their big top on the Children's Arts Festival site below Royal Crescent. Circus meets theatre with Alice, an under-canvas version of the famous young lady in Wonderland. It's a show for all the family with circus skills interwoven into the script. Well, with us is the group's administrator, Lindsay. Lindsay, welcome. Now, Circus and Alice in Wonderland, does this mean you'll be using real white rabbits and trained flamingos? No, the company don't use animals at all. Um, we're a group of performers who all have various skills to acting and singing and musical skills and circus. And what they do is we have you will see a white rabbit and there is a dodo and various other animals, but I can assure everybody that um, it's actually people just dressed up. But how, do, how does the plot fit together with the circus skills? Well, we've used Carol's stories and everyone's familiarity with those stories as a central thread. And basically Alice is taking part in a, a chess game in order to become the new White Queen. And on every square, when she's progressing through the game, she'll meet various characters from Carol's stories. And some of the skills, for instance, there's some trapeze. Our croquet game at the end of the finale is actually takes place on the trapeze. The dodo and the duchess have um, a jousting spectacular on unicycles, and you'll see people juggling, but you won't see them juggling usual clubs or balls. There's well, there we, we, have a, we have a clip of the, the show, although this isn't this one, is it? This was one you've done previously. Yeah. This is from uh, a piece from last year's show. And which we, was? Which was called Alice in Wonderland, and what we did was use some of the, the features from last year's show, but it's been completely rewritten for this year. And this, this part with the, the Duchess and the Dodo does feature again, but it's been changed slightly for this year's show. But, but the, the company have only just started touring, so... But it still gives you a good idea of how you, you're matching the two. A real show for all the family, then? Yes, definitely. The idea is to make it so that it would, there's something to appeal to everybody, that there's a fair amount of slapstick which children and I enjoy, and there's some good dialogue and a little bit of satire. I think we all got fed up with the idea that it was a children's show that adults can just sit through and be bored to tears, basically, or an adult show that hasn't got too much foul, ma foul language for children. And so we wanted to produce something that was true family entertainment. Now, tell, tell us about your Red Queen, because she's a trapeze artist, isn't she? Maria, yes. Yeah, she's been um, a professional trapeze artist for 10 years now, and it's very unusual in that she's one of the few female catchers in Europe. And I should explain, when people see trapeze, normally there's someone flying through the, the air, and there's actually someone there to, to get hold of them. And that's the term catcher. And it's very rare to find a woman with enough strength to be able to catch people. And so if you watch a, most of the traditional circuses, you'll find that it's men on, in that partic particular position. But for our company, it's Maria. Um, she's, she's, she, she's appearing at the balloon fiesta, isn't she? Just quickly, what, what is she going to be doing? Well, um, next week, uh, we're tying up with the fringe. There's also uh, the balloon fiesta. And our, Maria's going to be doing her act suspended between two hot air balloons <laughs> above the skies of Victoria Park. <laughs> Well, all I can say is good luck to Maria, good luck to you, and thanks for coming in. OK, thank you. And Maria's on the trapeze under those balloons in Bath's Victoria Park around about 5 o'clock on Saturday.